Some scholars have compared the significance of information and communication technology in the 21st century to the impact of automobile in the previous century in urban form and urban life. Cars brought convenience, accessibility, and mobility, but at the same time, the unintended consequences of cars was increased in greenhouse gas emission, congestion, and urban sprawl. So it is wise to adopt any technology with extra cautious steps. It can be started by defining what smart cities are and what are the impacts of digital technology in cities. So what is a smart city? Smart city has been defined differently by organizations, agencies, scholars, and practitioners. Smart Cities Council has defined smart cities as a city that uses information and communication technology to enhance its livability, workability, and sustainability. Other scholars have replaced information and communication technology with other terms like digital technology, smart technology, or Internet of Things. And the outcome of the impact of these technology can be replaced by other terms, such as the quality of life of citizens, the community involvement in the planning practice, the performance of urban services, and the environmental sustainability. No matter how we're going to define smart cities, the core functions of a smart city relates to these five steps. Collecting data, processing, communicating, analysis, and finally making data-driven decisions. Another term that you're going to hear more related to smart city is ubiquitous city. Ubiquitous city is a city that connects all information systems together. Residential, school, medical, business, and government. Another definition of ubiquitous city is when we integrate information system with social systems. Essentially, every device and service is linked to an information network. In that case, city planners and managers can micromanage numerous aspects of cities, from energy consumptions to traffic. So what are the drivers of smart cities? Why do we need smart cities? We're in the age of urbanizations. More than half of the population live in cities. The scarcity of financial and environmental resources, there is a need for more efficient solutions to accommodate the needs and better service the residents. Environmental challenges like climate change have created complex problems for cities that requires more advanced technology in order to solve. In the age of globalization, cities are competing with each other economically as well. In the age of globalization, cities are also competing with each other to attract more investment by creating higher quality of life for their residents and provide better services. Rapidly improving technology capacities is combined with declining costs and have made new things possible for cities. So who is making smart cities happen? Obviously, the first actor in this realm is private sector, tech companies who have the knowledge and capacity to implement information communication systems in cities, to companies such as Intel, Cisco, IBM, Verizon, and so on. But it's also important to notice the role of government, state, and local governments to actually bringing those technologies together and combine it with the services that they provide to the citizens. And citizens are also an important role in this cycle because, first of all, they're the users of those services, but also their input and their engagement in the process of making those systems happen is very critical for smart cities. So what is the role of planners in this area? We have to notice that planning issues are not necessarily technological issues. They are mainly political issues. Urban issues such as poverty, sustainability, equality, and quality of life, these are called wicked problems. Problems that are hard to define 
and even harder to solve. So it requires planning rather than a quick technological fix to address these issues. So a planner can contribute to the smart city by better defining the issues, understand the relationship between different actors and stakeholders in this process, and also avoid piecemeal and siloed approaches to have a more comprehensive solutions that can respond to different needs. And planners can play a significant role to engage citizens in the de decision-making process and help create a better vision for the future.